I'm sitting here at 123 First Street in Fort Smith, Arkansas. It's the official information center for Fort Smith. But in 1903, it was known as Miss Laurels, one of seven brothels and 26 saloons in Fort Smith. Miss Laurels was established the same year when Laurel Ziegler arrived in Fort Smith in 1898. She was 39 years old. She went to the local banker with a legitimate business proposition. Laura needed $3,000 to purchase the building at 123 First Street. Her intentions was to open a high-class brothel. There was already six other brothels on the same street east of her. One at 215 First Street belonged to Pearl Starr, the daughter of notorious outlaw queen, Belle Starr. This is Pearl on the right with a couple of her girls and Pearl behind the desk of her brothel. The idea of a higher class of girls catering to a higher clientele must have rung a bell with a banker because he let her have the money. It was a good business deal because Laura paid the entire debt off in 17 months. Now this is one of Miss Laura's girls enjoying the afternoon on the lawn of Miss Laura's in the early 1900s. As you walk through the front door, you notice the expensive stained glass throughout the house. The piano on the right was always playing. They would sing and laughter was plentiful. It had a festive atmosphere. Ms. Laura seen to that. After all, you're paying for it. Gentleman was shown to the first room on the left for bourbon and cigars. Sometimes city officials would come just to drink and socialize. After all, it was Miss Laurel's social club. The next room also served as a sort of party room until they were ready to go upstairs if that was their desire. Now it serves as an information room with all types of brochures of Arkansas sites to see. On the wall is a picture of Pearl Star, and this is a health certificate given to each girl once a month after a visit to the doctor, costing $5. If a girl was found sick, she was taken out of circulation. Now this is a few of Miss Laura's girls. We're now back in the hall looking towards the front door. The two rooms on the left belong to Miss Laura. Sometimes if a client wanted to keep his visit super secret, Laura could have him come in through the side door and wait in private. For special customers, the bathtub was filled with ice and champagne. Miss Laura would collect $3 before allowing her girls to take her client by the hand and lead him upstairs. The other houses along the row only charged a dollar. However, Laurel's girls were healthier and more sophisticated. Upstairs, each girl had their own room. Ms. Laurel had nine working girls at all times. The girls were never allowed to go downstairs without being fully dressed. In 1910, a fire from a storage tank exploded, destroying or damaging all the other brothels except Laurel's. Business was exceptionally good the next year. In 1911, Laura Ziegler sold Miss Laurel's to Madame Bertha Dean for $47,000. Miss Laurel left Sport Smith and disappeared from the scene. Bertha Smith will run Ms. Laurels, keeping the same name until her death in 1948. Under Bertha's management, the girls and the clientele never reached the class it once had, and the price soon dropped to a dollar. If you visit Ms. Laurels Information Center, and especially if you're with your husband or wife, 
Don't be surprised if some floosy don't ask your husband if he finally came to pay his bill. Or ask the wife, Hi, sweetie, looking for a job? <laughs> <laughs>